What's up guys, it's Jake here from hookahrev.com bringing you a video review for a hookah. Now, this is for Sahara Smoke Hookah and this is the Dicro model. This video is proudly sponsored by a new friend of mine and that vendor is hookahhub.com. Great guy, uh, just recently added onto the uh, official hookahrev.com slash vendors, that's the link of it, for the vendors tab. Uh, be sure to check them out and check out through their selection. They've got a lot of great deals right now, such as this model is on sale. There's a lot, a few other hookahs, a few other items that are on sale actually. And there is a coupon code for hookah rep viewers, which you can find in the description below, as well as that link that I gave you, that's hookahrev.com slash vendors. So let's jump right into this review. The Sahara Smoke hookahs in the past have had not had the best of reputations as far as longevity and durability. Um, what was happening in the past was the metal that was being used, uh, it turns out it was rusting quite fast and in states like where I live, Nevada, it's not that big of an issue because it's so dry and rust just doesn't happen a lot as it is. But in more humid states like the rest of the world, um, yeah, the rust was happening very quickly and that was just not a pleasant experience for anybody that's experienced Sahara smoke hookahs. Uh, in the past. Now, what I have heard from my sources is they actually have an entire new lineup of hookahs. They're using a different metal um, and some of the Sahara Smoke hookahs that I've used and experienced in the past had a very cheap metal quality build and it was very hollow. Uh, nothing that I would consider top of the line. Now, with the Dicro, with other Sahara Smoke hookahs, that's completely changed now. They've completely, in my opinion, reinvented themselves. They're using a very solid, heavy-duty um, metal now. Uh, I would definitely consider these to be more of a top-of-the-line Chinese hookah. I mean, they are Chinese-made, but just the build quality on these and just the accents and the details, uh, looking very closely into it, I can see that something has greatly changed. So I'm going to scroll through some of these pictures and show you guys as we go. Um, but look at the stem right here. Just even the stem, the, I mean, this design is unique to Sahara Smoke. This just, I mean, I don't know if the picture relays it very well, but it is very smooth, very clean finish, and like I said, it's solid metal, so there's no more hollow metal. Well, it's kind of, it's a little bit difficult in this kind of particular model because it's kind of like a wraparound design rather than uh, a solid stem design. But the metal itself is extremely well built. Uh, moving on to the base. Sahara Smoke is well known for the quality of the vases and the design and just the print on it is impeccable. It's unmatched, I would say. The paint on a lot of their hookahs are actually on the inside of the glass rather than the outside or, well, that, in the middle of the glass, in between the glass, I should say. It's, you can't scratch it from the inside, you can't scratch it on the outside. It's not the case with the Dicro. Uh, it's painted on the outside, but even take a knife to this it's going to be almost impossible to scratch off. So this is some of the notes that I wanted to make. Um, and this model right here, I would consider to be a small to medium size. You can see right here, it stands, by my measurement, 23 inches tall, uh, just from base to stem, but 25 inches tall with the Vortex Bowl, which is what it comes with. Now, it advertises as a 24-inch hookah, so I guess 23 and 25, that's right in the middle, fairly accurate. Now, the most important part, what you guys want to know, is the smokeability, but I'm going to cut back a little bit and dissect this box for you guys. You can see the model set up right here, but this is the box that it comes in. So, just the box alone, I mean, they redesigned this and even this looks great. You can see it tells you everything that it comes with, nice picture of the model. So, once you open the box, this is the first thing you see. You get a nice Sahara Smoke carrying case. One compartment in here, you can see I kind of took some stuff out, and another compartment in the front. 
I mean, this is a really nice touch. This is definitely added value. Now, in it as well, you can also get, of course, the hookah, the glass vase, the stem. You get tongs, um, a synthetic leather wrapped hose, and it also comes with a vortex bowl. It's great value for everything that it comes with, of course. Um, now, you all want to know about how it smokes. And this is, of course, the most important part of a Hooper review. One thing I want to notate, and this was a huge issue for me, and I've actually identified it directly with Sahara Smoke, and uh, this is an issue that they've identified as well. So, as you can see from the vase, this one is a little bit more clear, but because the paint is of such high quality, when there's a design on it, it's almost impossible, well, in some models it actually is impossible to see the water line. That's a huge ding in my books. Um, not being able to see the water line. Now, like I said, I have addressed this issue, and this is something that they've actually come up with a very good solution for. I'm not going to tell you what exactly, uh, because it's not finalized yet, but I'm confident that that will actually solve the issue with the water line. So there was, for this one, for the Dicro, there was a lot, it was, it was kind of see-through, but you have to hold it up to the light, match it up. It was very troublesome, to be completely honest with you guys. It was very troublesome to get the right water level. I actually had, I thought I got it right, I had to pour a little bit out, uh, and then put it back in. So I had two times, and I, this isn't my first Rodeo. Uh, <laughs> I've smoked quite a few hookahs in the past and this and you know not being able to get it right for me was a huge inconvenience so I want to note that first now everything is of solid build uh, the I'm sorry I lost my train of thought anyways the airflow on this is very good the hose that it comes with is a standard Sahara smoke hose but it is a very big gauge. It's not a typical uh, like Maya hose or any kind of generic Chinese hose that you see in the past. It is very wide, as you can see from the mouth tip. I mean, it adds to it. I've uh, I've used a fancy hose, an Egyptian hose, a rainbow cam rainbow hose. I've used all my my major hoses with this, and the airflow is almost dead on comparable. I would say actually to a free flowing uh, KM. You can see the cloud out that is good. I didn't tell you guys what I was smoking, but I'm smoking Starbucks Irish Peach. Um, but sorry, I'm smoking the Starbucks flavor right now. And you can see the smoke is, the smoke output is good from the hookah. Well, it's from the tobacco as well. Um, but the flow, like I said, is very good. The other thing I want to mention is, I'm going to pop back to this, uh, to this picture right here. But you can see it's also a multi-hose adaptable hookah. You can connect up to four hoses to this. Now, I don't particularly... Uh, enjoy multi hozukas, but I mean this is a great option for those that want to kind of switch it out. What I do want to tell you guys though that the screw on uh, the screw on features of these little side ports is seamless. Now what I've seen in other Chinese hookahs, you almost sometimes have to get a wrench to it and really crank it open. Not the case with this. Super smooth, super easy to do, super easy to change out. The adapters, of course, are not included. You have to buy those extra. Um, so between the hose, the vortex bowl, I mean, you really get a complete package in this. There's really, to be honest with you, no need to upgrade the hose unless you want something that looks a little bit better and that holds a little bit better because the handle is a little bit small for my personal preference, but as far as functionality goes, it makes no difference. Um, so overall, it performs well. Now, it's just the vases that I get stuck, the vase is the part that I get stuck on. So. Already got one ding on not being able to see the water level. The other thing is because it's got a bottlenecking effect, bottlenecking effect, I feel like it just diminishes the smoke buildup in the bottom, if that makes any sense. It doesn't affect the flow whatsoever, just it, you can tell that there's a bottlenecking um, effect going on. Like I said, it doesn't affect the smoke quality at all, and of course the flavor, anything like that. But I feel like if the base was a little bit more out, it would definitely open it up just a little bit more. Um, 
not enough to say that this is a terrible hookah, because it's really not. So overall hookahrev.com rating, I'm going to give the Sahara Smoke Dicro a 75 out of 100. Most of its points were won uh, by how free-flowing the air was, uh, and definitely the exceptional build quality. Now where it lost points was because of the base and the issues outlining that. Um, but overall, it's a great hookah, uh, and for those, I don't want to say casual smokers, but someone that wants more of a decorative piece, now you can get a decorative piece, it depends on your taste, it's not, you know, there's no right or wrong in what you think looks nice. But this one, it really catches my eye, so I mean, it is a decorative piece, and I mean, it's fairly easy to use. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention, the tray does not come off by itself. You have to actually screw off the top stem, and that, that's the way it comes off. So, But overall, it is very functional and very easy to use. My only qualm with this one is the vase, uh, not being able to know how much water to put in exactly, and the bottlenecking effect. So, this was Jake bringing you a hookah review for the Sahara Smoke Dicro. Be sure to check out hookahhub.com. Check out the vendor section on hookahrev.com uh, for your coupon code. And if you've tried this or if you've had any experience with new Sahara Smoke Hookahs, post it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. See you guys next time.